So here's the iRobot Roomba i4 from Costco here in November of 2020. So when you take the outer packaging off, here's the box. Give you a close up. So it comes with the virtual wall, a high efficiency filter, at least one, and a longer battery life, it says. And if we flip the box around, here's the back of the box. Looks like everything's pretty much similar. I'll zoom you in here on the uh, contents. So you have the vacuum, the charging station, power cord, one of the dual mode virtual wall barriers, some couple of AA batteries, and two filters. So I was wondering what's the difference between the i3 and the i4. So hopefully we'll figure that out. Interestingly, they had some extra barcodes here, um, just taped to the handle. I don't know what that's about. All right, we'll open it up and show you the inside. Just a quick shot inside the box here. Very nice presentation. There's the vacuum and the charger there and some boxes of parts. So we'll get all that removed. Okay, here we've emptied out the contents. Um, very nice presentation, whoever designed that box did a great job. So we have the vacuum, we'll look at that more. There is the charger and the power cord for it. And that is the virtual barrier with I'm assuming batteries that go in it and two of these filters and then three kind of uh, pieces of literature. It looks like a quick start guide, a manual and a warranty uh, document. So that is the contents of the entire box. I couldn't find any reviews of this when I was uh, looking on Costco. I think there was one review out there. So that's why I'm making this video just so folks can see what's in here. So um, we'll get this set up, charge it, and then show you the device in action. Here it is on its first mission. And we have a dirty floor for it to work on. I don't know if you can see that dirt, but... All right, and here it got hung up temporarily. Not really hung up, just hit the refrigerator there and paused. So this is a nice wide open area. Here it is hitting. So any mapping that it might do, it hasn't done yet. So clearly that might be happening now on its first run. Now I see stuff on the floor that it kind of kicked up but never got. I'm guessing it'll come back and pick that up. Okay, here it is making a transition onto a rug. We're trying to. There we go. This rug is full of pine needles. There it goes over a bunch of pine needles down there. Another transition. Scooped up a bunch of pine needles. And what's cool is right before it hits that wall, it slows down to maybe half speed. Uh, so it clearly knows that wall's coming. I always wondered, you know, does it hurt your baseboards? It's a slight tap. Here's one coming. And why wouldn't they do like a cloth? front to this to kind of lessen the blow. I'm guessing there would be lots of um, complaints if it was 
tearing up people's baseboards. So I'm going to assume it just doesn't uh, do any damage. Anyways, so far so good. There again, hopefully you're seeing it slow down just before impact with the wall. Now here, here's the transition. I have two steps down and it's heading right for a cliff. Oh, and it made the turn. Anyway, it's still on that first uh, first time out working its way around the house. Okay, so we finished the first uh, mission and I wanted to show you, I told you we had pine needles. Look at that bin. That is completely full on its first cleaning of basically our half of the first floor of our house. So you can take that out and look at that packed in there. Mm, wow. Okay, so it looks like it did a lot of pickup. The floors look great. Okay, well, the Roomba i4 iRobot did an amazing job and uh, super impressed with it. It um, cleaned the whole downstairs, the whole upstairs rather, and um, I would highly recommend this. I got this in November 2020. And it was about $260 at Costco. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.